Alright, so in this video, I want to show you a very quick hack. It's going to take a few minutes here and it's just very important. It's a question I got a lot about why I recommend you should hide your PNL from your platform, what's the point behind it, and how to do it on certain platforms. Today, we'll have a look at TradingView, how to hide your PNL on TradingView so you don't see your profit in the screen. There's a few reasons why you might want to do it and it can make a big difference, so we'll go right into it. Alright, so here we are on TradingView and this is the platform I use the most for my manual trading. You can see I have an account here. And when we see the dollar amount we have on a trade, we tend to do different things. Now, one thing you need to understand for proper trading is that it doesn't matter how much money you lost in the past, how much money you made in the past, it should not affect your future trades. You should not have a bigger position because you had a loss in the past. Or you shouldn't take more trades because you had like five wins in a row. You should just stick to your plan and kind of follow through on what you're supposed to be trading. So it's a good idea to hide this. As you can see on my screen here, I don't see my kind of numbers. I see it in my history here, which we'll get to in a second. But you can see here, I don't want to see how much money I have on this trade. Yeah, I don't care about that stuff. Because the fact that I know my strategy work, maybe at the end of the month, I'll go back, I'll look at my stats. At the end of the quarter, I'll do a bigger review. But in the meantime, do I need to see this number here, this dollar amount, how much I made on my account? No, I don't need to see that. There's actually a very simple way to hide this on your platform. So what you want to do first is on the chart over here, I want to hide that number on my screen. I don't want to see how much money I've made. So what you do is you, you go run to here, click on your broker, do trading settings. Now you can also do this by right clicking on the chart. Now you can also do this if you right click on the chart and you go into settings, then go down into trading. The same menu appears. And here position shows or trade. So if I hide this, the trade will not be shown. I, I do want to see my trades in the chart. I want to be able to see what's going on. What kind of pairs I have, what pairs or stocks or indices I have trades on. So I want to keep this. But then when you go into profit and loss, you can either hide this completely if you don't want to see it at all, or you can click on it and then choose if you want to see money, tick, or percentages. If I go on money, I'll see, of course, how much money I make on this trade. If I go into ticks, I'll see the number of ticks or the pips in the case of Forex. And if I go into the percentages, then I'll see, of course, a percentage amount on that trade. So that's the first step. Now we can go a little bit deeper on that too, if you want to hide or PNL in our history, because sometimes it's too tempting to, you have this close over here, you want to see how much money you've made. You just open it back up, you see your results. Then you kind of see, oh, I have 10 wins in a row or something, or whatever that is. Same thing goes in your history. So you might be tempted to then place more trades or do stupid stuff as a result of that. We don't want to see that. So we go again, table here. We have a icon that looks like three bars. Click on this. Then you can choose what you want to show on that history list over here. One last very important thing, don't skip off yet, is if you go to your, here you click on your broker, then you go into the summary row, it's basically that row over here. And if you don't want to see these numbers, because they kind of can be annoying sometimes when you trade, you don't want to see the amount you lost, you don't want to see your whole balance all the time, you can just go here and take off the daily PL, boom, it's gone. Take off the unrealized PL, boom, it's gone. I might even take my net liquidation value. I don't care about seeing how much money I have in my account. I don't want to see why I lost like thousand dollars in this trade. I, I gained two thousand dollars in this one here. I don't care for that stuff. I just want to be trading, focusing on my process, my results, and the rest should kind of be all clear. Now you choose what you want to have here. They have all the things that you can put. If you want to see available funds, that's maybe more useful sometimes. In my case, same thing as cash, the same thing. Uh, you could see you could add a few more things here to kind of help you to make better decisions or help you to know if you're if you have enough margin to trade, but in most cases, that stuff doesn't have to be there anyway. So you can just even hide everything else if you don't want to see it. And I'll see how clean this is. I can see all my trade history. I can still go back and forth. I can still see what I'm in. I can still see kind of where I entered on the chart. I can still see a percentage of my trades, but I only see the amount because the money amount on our trades that we lost or won on our account balance can trigger some emotions, trigger some mindset issues that we don't want to deal with in trading. So it's a good thing to not have it on your charts and kind of focus on your process and getting results that way. Any questions? Let me know the questions below as always in the comment section. I want to hear your thoughts on this. Any other uh, training tips you need to know, let me know in the comment section below. I want to know how I can help you better in the coming year. That goes to give you results. I want to be able to provide videos that help you get results, no matter what these results are for you, no matter what you care about. And I'll be here throughout the next year to help you out with your trading. All right, I'll catch you soon. Bye-bye.